Max is up to. Ow! Max, are you all right? Oh, uh, hi! Yes, never better. <laughs> What's that you've got there, Max? This is Scoot's new improved siren. What just happened? Uh, I think Max did. <laughs> just a few little gremlins to be sorted out. Max, stop messing about and get to work. Uh, yes, Bobby. And where are you three off to this bright and breezy morning? We're going for a walk in Friend Forest. So we're going to see if we can find any rare plants there. We're going to take pictures. Bye! Bye. <laughs> Mind how you go. We will. <laughs> wow! Here! Look what I found! <laughs> Jumpy, that's a bluebell. They're about as rare as flies round a jam pot. I knew that. Just wanted to make sure you were both paying attention. <laughs> oh, all right. But I bet I can find the rarest plant. Come on. Now this is what I call a find. That's a sort of mushroom, isn't it? A fungus. Yep. Isn't it beginning to get a bit dark? Wow! Look at the time! We should be getting back. Uh, which way is back? Maybe it's this way. We're lost, aren't we? Lost? Help! We're lost! Lost in Friend Forest and... and, and... Hungry work, all this inventing. Oh, need salt and pepper. No. Oh. Oh well. Just have to do without the pepper. Hmm. They should be back by now. I hope nothing's happened. Oh, don't worry. They're sensible children. They'll be back soon. <gasps> oh, hello, Tiffany. Well, you look pleased to see one of your best customers. Oh, I'm sorry, Tiffany. It's just that we're a bit worried about Martin and Mia. They went to look for flowers in Friend Forest. Yes, I know. I saw them earlier on. And they're not back yet. Well, don't worry. Timber and I will find them in no time. Timber's a brilliant tracker dog. Oh. oh. <laughs> Have you got one of the sweaters or a sock or something so Timber can get their scent? That's it. Good boy. Now seek. Seek, Timber. <laughs> Don't worry, they'll be home before you know it. Oh, I hope so. Thanks, Tiffany. Oh, now that's what I call a sandwich. <laughs> that sounds like... Timber! He must have sniffed up all the pepper I spilt. You spilt pepper? What for? I, I didn't do it on purpose. I... Tiff? 
Is something the matter? Just a bit. Martin, Mia and Jumpy are lost, and Timber was tracking them down. But thanks to you and your pepper... <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Sorry, Timber. <laughs> oh. Still, not to worry. I'll find them. I'll fetch Haley, and we'll search the forest for them. <laughs> and we'll get Petey. Where to, Tiffany? Friend Forest. We've got some lost children to find. OK, Haley, This is a red alert. Let's go! We're stuck here. Wait a minute. <gasps> Monsters? No. Just a great idea. Oh, brilliant. Here we are, lost in Friend Forest, and Martin wants to take a picture. No, no pictures. Just going to use the flash. Of course, the flash gun. They might be able to see that through the trees. It's no good. Your searchlight won't reach the forest floor. Wait, what's that down there? It looks like someone's trying to signal us. Max to Tiffany, Max to Tiffany. You found them? I think so. Someone's signalling from amongst the trees. It could be them. They're about 300 metres from you. Bearing seven degrees north by northwest. I'm on my way. Oh, a lot of good that was. It was a really good idea, Martin. Yeah, pity it didn't work. <gasps> What's that? Oh no, I said the forest was full of monsters and... That's no monster. It's Tiffany. Tiffany. Are we ever glad to see you? Likewise, your mum and dad are being so worried. Oh, Tiffany, how can we ever thank you? Oh, there's no need. And I have to say, Max did all the real work. Oh, he was great. Him and Hayley. Mind you, he wouldn't have spotted us if it hadn't have been for your camera, Martin. Well, we'll have to give Max a little something to show our appreciation. Um, I don't suppose you've got a spare pepper pot knocking about, have you? <laughs> <laughs> Can you believe it? Max has lost Haley's keys again. We'd better find them right away, Tiffany. Otherwise, we could be in big trouble. I don't know where to start. <laughs> Timber's not short of ideas. Find Haley's helicopter keys, Timber. Go, fine boy. Timber. I'll get these back to Max right away. Tell him to put them somewhere safe this time. <laughs> well done, Timber. I don't know what we'd do without you.
Well, hey! I am the best jumper in the city of friends! <laughs> <laughs> whoa, whoa! Ah. Oh, do you need a plaster, Jumpy? Uh, I'm okay, Mia. I just grazed my knee. It's Tina and Ted! Hello. They're going to the hospital. Come on, Mia. Coming, Jumpy? <laughs> no thanks, Mia. I'm going to practice my speed skipping. I was sure I'd left my fireman's helmet out here. Hi, Abby. Hi, Abby. Hi there. Want to help Tina top up my battery? Yes. I'm going to see what Ted's doing. Hi, Martin. Want to help me pack my medical bag? Oh, yes, please, Ted. Uh, stethoscope. Check. Antiseptic cream and medical wipes. Double check. Plasters, gauze and bandages. Uh, ta-da! Plasters, gauze and bandages. Your battery's really low, Abby. Then charge me right up to the top. An emergency ambulance must never stop. <coughs> Hi, Timber. Shouldn't you be at the police station with Tiffany? <coughs> <laughs> I think he's just dropped by to say hi. So, Mama Top? Check. Scissors. Uh, check complete. Thanks for your help, Martin. I'm ready for action! Hey, what have you got there, Timber? Jumpy? What's wrong? I fell over and my leg hurts! Ow! Hmm, I think we might need Abby's help. We've got an emergency, Tina! Let's go! Bye! Bye! Look, Martin! Oh, no! Ted forgot his bandages! Petey! Hey, stop! What's the matter? Oh, Ted's gone off to an emergency without any bandages! I'd better double-check that with Ted. <laughs> Calling emergency ambulance crew. Come in, please. Bobby, I haven't got a single bandage in my medical bag. Ow! My leg really hurts! Don't worry, Jumpy. Abby will be here soon. Can't we get some bandages from the hospital? It's locked up and Tina's got the key. We could rip up some towels. Surely they'd do instead of bandages. Uh-uh. Towels wouldn't be sterile. 
Bandages have to be absolutely clean, otherwise the wound can become infected. Got a call coming in, Tiffany. Abby to Petey. We need help. Immediately. We're on our way, Abby. Please, can we have a lift, Tiffany? Okay, just this once, seeing as it's an emergency. Can you believe it? We've got a flat tyre right in the middle of an emergency. I'd better tell Mia's mum we've been held up. soon as we can. Meanwhile, keep Jumpy warm and don't let him move his leg. Okay, Ted. I'll do my best. Oh, it really hurts! It really hurts! When are they coming? Don't worry, Jumpy. They'll be here soon. Thanks for coming so quickly, Petey. We've got an injured person in the town square and no chance of getting there. If Petey could give me a lift, I could attend to the patient on my own. No worries, Ted. Hop in. I'll stay here and help Tina fix the wheel. Oh, thanks, Bobby. <laughs> Hi, Timber. Keep an eye on my bag. What have we got here? Don't worry, Jumpy. I'll soon have you bandaged up. Huh? We thought you didn't have any bandages. Where did you find them? <laughs> in Timber's cage. You should check out the other stuff in Timber's cage, Tiffany. After I've strapped you up, I'm going to get you to the hospital for an x-ray. Oh, thanks, Ted. <laughs> Would you believe what I found in Timber's cage? That's Bobby's coffee cup. And Barney's fireman's hat. Looks like Timber's been collecting treasure from all over the city of Friends. <laughs> Looks like a peaceful day in the city of Friends, G. Not so peaceful here, Raph. Peachy's got an emergency call coming in. Over and out, Jeep. Stay alert, Raph. Cooling off, Elfie. I'm topping up my water tank for the next emergency, Raph. Will you let me know if Frankie needs me? Take as long as you like, Elfie. I'll keep my eyes on Frankie. Thanks, Raph. <laughs> You're supposed to score goals by smashing the ball over the net, Jumpy. <laughs> Who cares? It's more fun this way. <laughs> Quick, Martin, smash it over. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Go for it, Mia. <laughs> Friends, Bonnie. Stop, Frankie! Stop! Oh, I should have been watching Frankie, not the netball game. Oh, what am I going to tell Elfie? What's going on? Hey, Raph, where's everybody gone? I'm sorry, Elfie. I've not been keeping my eye on the job. They went without you. We heard Frankie's siren. 
Which way did he go? Huh? Shouldn't you be with Frankie and the fire crew, Elfie? Yes, Martin. They left without me. It's all my fault. <gasps> whoa, whoa! Tom will never be able to put out the fire without me. Maybe one of the other emergency vehicles could transport you, Elfie. Let's give them a call. I've got radio contact. I could put in a call for you. Gee, can you hear me? Emergency! I hear you, Ralph. What's your problem? We need Petey and the police crew over here right away. <sighs> Oh, I just can't get in! Oh, it's no good. I'll never fit inside the police car. <laughs> you might fit inside Abby. Good idea. Abby's bigger than Petey. Ruff, ruff, ruff. It won't work. Abby and the ambulance crew have gone to the fire too. Maybe I should just set off on foot. You'll never catch up with Frankie. They'll be miles away by now. Oh, you could borrow my skateboard. Thanks for the offer, Jumpy, but I could never balance on your skateboard. Oh, what am I going to do? <gasps> Where's Elfie? We can't put out the fire without her. We'll have to go back and get her. But Tom, there's no time. We've got to put out the fire before it takes hold of another building. There must be a water hydrant we can connect up to. Come on, Tom. There isn't a moment to lose. Whoa! <laughs> Cheer up, guys. It might never happen. Barney and Tom have gone off on an emergency and left me behind. Oh. You can take Scoot to catch up with Frankie. Thanks, Max. But I think I'd squash Scoot if I stood on him. Huh? <gasps> Why don't we tie Scoot to Jumpy's skateboard? What would be the point of that? By putting them together, we could double the space for Elfie to stand on. Very clever, Martin. That's a great idea. Yeah, but will it work? Trust me, it will work. <coughs> Just need a couple of planks to connect Scoot to the skateboard. We're going to tie the whole thing together. Can we help, Max? We're brilliant at tying ropes. Yes, of course. Now, let's pull this rope really tight. We don't want it to fall apart. Martin, you go first and test it out. Yes! Jump test pass! Safe as a row of houses. Your turn now, Elfie. Oh. 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 <gasps> I've located a water hydrant on the other side of the square. Good work, Tom. Let's get Frankie hitched up right away. Oh, Elfie. Elfie! Quickly, Tom, lower my bucket! Come on, team, let's put this fire out. Oh, 
Murphy's beating back the fire. is brilliant! I want to apologise for letting the fire crew down. Oh, don't worry about it, Raph. I loved whizzing along on my scooter board. I'm sure I went faster than Frankie. Oh, impossible! I'm the fastest emergency vehicle in the City of Friends. I promise I won't play games at work anymore. Stick to having fun when you're off duty. Stay alert, Raph! Uh, <laughs> I promise I will. Max is inventing something, Timber. Again. Uh, Max, what are you up to? Going to borrow Bobby's pencil sharpener. <laughs> no, Max. I meant, what are you doing in your treehouse? Oh, well, if you must know, Tiffany, I'm inventing a rather clever new engine for Scoot. I'll be able to get to the scene of a crime a lot quicker with the Max Mark 7 scooting engine. But not until I've got a pencil that writes again. What's this, Timber? <laughs> Don't think there'd be any room for Max on this. And it's Martin heading down the sideline to hit a jumper. Oh, oh, to me! Over here! To me! Here! Here! Here I am! Oh, oh, oh! Whoa, whoa, whoa! Do you think he's all right? Wow! What's that? Help! Uh, I think it's jumpy. I'm stuck! Where are we off to, Tina? To the school. Bit of an emergency. Jumpy's got a waste paper bin stuck on his head. Whoa! Steady. <sighs> That's better. Nice windscreen wiper work, Abby. I aim to please. Now, hold still, Jumpy. Ow! <clears throat> oh! Sorry, Jumpy. Let's try it this way. Ouch! I think we'd better get him to the fire station. Why? He's not on fire. <laughs> no, but they've got special cutting equipment there. They'll be able to get it off his head without too much trouble. Come on, Jumpy. But I can't see anything! This way! Over here! Tina, I heard Abby's siren. I... just a minute. What? Something the matter, Max? I should say so. Littering is a serious offence, Tina. I would have thought you'd know that. Yes, I do know. Everyone goes to a great deal of trouble to keep the streets of the City of Friends clean and tidy. Throwing paper around willy-nilly isn't going to help, is it? Well, it wasn't us, Max. As if. What? what, what? Ow! Look, Max, we've got a bit of an emergency here and you're not helping. Get this thing off me! <coughs> Trouble? Just a bit. We need your help to cut this off Jumpy's head. Oh, but be gentle with me. It's the only head I've got. <laughs> Don't worry, Jumpy. 
I'll be careful. Hmm. So if it wasn't Ted and Tina... OK, Frankie. Time for a bit of a wash and brush up. <laughs> oh, steady, help me. Oh, keep that soap out of me eyes. Don't worry, Frankie. I've... Hello? Stop right there. Max? So, it's you, is it, Elfie? Yes, I think so. I, I mean, I, I was me when I woke up this morning and... Don't try to be clever with me, my girl. What about all this litter? Yes, annoying, isn't it? It's more than annoying. It's a serious offence. But if you get it all cleaned up double-quick, then we may be able to overlook it just this once. Oh! Just a minute, young fella, me lad. Are you suggesting that Elfie made all this mess? Well, who else? Well, I don't know, but it wasn't Elfie. No, I mean, I wouldn't. Hmm. The plot thickens. Well, I intend to get to the bottom of this. <laughs> I'll save the siren for later. Um. So, caught you red-handed. Huh? What do you mean? You're our litter bug, are you? Well, I don't think much of litter louts. And nor does the rest of the City of Friends Police Department. I'm not littering. I'm picking it up to put it in the bin. See? Yes. Well, just watch your step. I'll be keeping an eye on you. Oh, Max. So, more litter. And right in front of the City Hall, too. Oh, the very cheek of it. Oh, thanks, Max. Must have dropped it out of my pouch. Ah, oh, I see. Not litter. No, a letter. Good. Well, um, um, in that case, uh, carry on. Ah, litter. Oh, and another bit. And, and uh, aha, I'm back on the trail. Almost there. Just one more snip and I'll have this off you, Jumpy. Oh, please. Not until you get this litter cleaned up, you're not, Jumpy. We've got a word for people like you in the police force. Litter bugs. Just a minute, Max. Jumpy isn't a litter bug. This litter just fell out of the bin on his head. And what? Oh, oh, I see. Well, in that case, get this cleared up while I clear up the case of the littering litter out. Calling Max. Please report to the police station immediately. Aha! Uh -huh. Maybe someone's got a lead on the case. I'm on my way. <coughs> Silly siren. Aha! Uh -huh. More evidence. I'm pretty sure we're going to get to the bottom of this litter problem. And soon. Policeman Max reporting for duty, sir. Good. Now, Max, what have you got to say about all this litter? Oh, don't you worry, sir. I'm on the case. I have a few leads, and I'm pretty sure I'll have the case all wrapped up before very long. Well, perhaps you ought to start at your treehouse. What? My... what? My treehouse? Why? Oh! Oh, no! I... I don't believe it! The paper I was making my new designs on! Yes, looks like you were the letter bug all along, Max. And there'll be no more designing until you've got the whole town cleaned up. <laughs> Case closed, eh, Max? <clears throat> looks like it, Martin. And, uh, sorry about earlier. Don't worry, Max. We all make mistakes. <laughs> Some more than others. Yes. 
Oh, well. Better get started on the clean-up. It won't take long. Not with all of us helping. What? What? I, you mean... Oh, thanks. Thanks a million. Well, that's what friends are for. Anyhow, good luck in today's training exercise, Ted. <laughs> you could at least tell me what you and Barney have got planned. I know. I'm a hopeless father. <laughs> but seriously, Dad, I want to do really well today. Tina's such a good teacher. I, I don't want to let her down. I'm sure you won't. Here are your lunches. Pop them in your rucksacks. Oh, and have you all got bottles of water? Yes, I have. Yes, thanks! How are my helpers this morning? Great, thanks, Bobby. I've never been on a training exercise before. Are we going to be really hurt or just pretending? <laughs> just pretending, Jumpy. Is it a sort of test for you, Ted? Yes, it's a chance for Tina, Bobby and Barney to find out how well I'm doing. Now, do you all know where to meet me? Yes, yes Bobby. Bobby. See you later, then. Good luck, Ted. Uh, thanks. I wish we could help Ted do well. I've just made a whole lot of sticky buns. Oh, Ted's favourites! So why don't you take him some on your way to meet Bobby? Hi there! Hi, Ted! We've got something for you. Sticky buns! Oh, yes, I love sticky buns. Oh, mm, mm, thank you. Mm. They're a sort of good luck present for today. Mm, fantastic. I'll keep the rest till later. Dad loves them too. I know. I'll put them in here for now. Oh, thanks so much. See you later, Ted. Good luck. See you. Calling all services. Are you standing by? Police standing by, Bobby. Fire crew standing by, Bobby. Medical team standing by, Bobby. Over here! <sighs> that was a long ride. Good thing we've got drinks for you then. Great! Thanks, Bobby. OK, this is the plan. We're pretending that you've got lost in the forest and that each of you has a different injury. Oh, what's mine? It's written on your card. Oh, a twisted ankle. Mine's a bruised leg. What's yours, Martin? Only a scratched arm. So, what we'll do is this. You all hide in those bushes. Then I'll call out the police. It's their job to find you. Then they'll read your cards and call out the medical team. And Ted has to decide what to do with our injuries? That's right. But what about the firefighters? Where do they fit in? Ha <laughs> ha That's a surprise for later. Right. Off you go. Ready? Ready. Yes. Ready, Bobby. Bobby to Tiffany. We have an emergency. Three children are missing in Friend Forest. Message received, Bobby. We're on our way. <laughs> Stop wriggling, Jumpy. I can't help it. My bruised leg's hurting. <laughs> Timber! Shh, shh. Here, Timber! Come on, come on, let's get going. There's nothing to worry about, Ted. You'll do fine. What is it, Timber? What have you found? There you are! Oh, you found us! Hi, Tiffany! Hi, Max! Well done, Timber! Good boy! <laughs> Tiffany to medical team. We found the missing children. Medical team to attend, please. This way. Okay, 
Mia has a twisted ankle, Martin has a scratched arm, and Jumpy has a bruised leg. Right, in that case, I'll start by... What? Oh no! I've mixed the bags up. The one with the equipment in it must still be at the hospital. Oh, oh no! Oops. I'm so sorry. I should have checked my equipment before I came. Well, fortunately, this is an exercise, so no harm's done. But suppose it was a real situation, Ted. What would you do next? Um, OK. Um, well, the children's injuries are quite minor. They don't have to be treated here, so I'd take them back to the hospital as quickly as possible. Good answer. Yes. But as I don't want to stop the exercise, let's put it on hold while you two go back to get the right bag. We gave Ted the buns. It's our fault. Not really. Ted shouldn't put buns in medical bags. But we all make mistakes, and I'm sure he's learned his lesson. But he wanted to do well, and now he's messed up. Maybe it would cheer him up if someone else made a mistake too. Now there's an idea. Leave it with me. What's in that one, Jelly Babies? Oh, honestly, I can't believe I've been so silly. Here they are. See you later. Before you ask, yes, this is the right bag. <laughs> Good, Ted. Then let's get started. Bobby to all services. The exercise is starting again. Now. Bobby to fire crew. Emergency. A fire has broken out in Friend Forest. Please attend. Tom to Bobby. We're on our way. Tom? There's something I want you and Elfie to do. OK, that's done. Now, Jumpy, it's your turn. <gasps> What's that? There's a fire in the forest. You must get the casualties to safety as quickly as possible. <laughs> It's Petey and Abby. We'll have to go that way. It's Frankie. OK, Elfie. Go for it. Oops. I seem to have made a mistake. <laughs> <laughs> nice one, Elfie. You see, Ted? Anyone can make a mistake. Yes, but that wasn't really a mistake, was it? Elfie did that on purpose. But it made you laugh. We just wanted to cheer you up, Ted. You don't have to be cross with yourself anymore. <laughs> OK, thanks. That's it then, everyone. The exercise is over. How about some sticky buns to celebrate? Here they are. <laughs> are you sure? Uh, yes. I've learned two lessons today. One is to check my equipment before I go out on a call. What's the other, Ted? The other? is that sticky buns are really good for cheering up people with minor injuries. <laughs> <laughs> and there are still plenty to go round. Kimmy, I can't stop. I'm on special patrol this week up at the school. Have to make sure the children cross the road safely. Don't work too hard, Max. <laughs> Why not? That's what I like best. See you. Morning, Bobby. Barney. Morning. The usual, please. <laughs> 
Thanks. Yeah, so this Best Police Trainee Award is a new thing. Each city can put someone up for it. Will you put up Max? I'm certainly thinking about it. Hi, Max. You know the Police Trainee Award? No, nope, never heard of it. Well, we heard Bobby talking about it in the cafe just now. It's a new thing. Bobby said he was thinking of putting you up for it. Really? That's cool. I'll have to work really hard to make sure he does. There. That's you all oiled up, Scoot. From now on, you've got to go super fast to impress Bobby. Max! Kim is in trouble. Can you get over to her in East Street? Oh, right away. Hi. <laughs> Wow, someone's in a hurry. It's really weird. I'm just walking under here when suddenly, boink, something hits me on the head. What sort of thing? Small, hard, and it hurt, that's for sure. You're right, it is weird. Anyhow, I'll go back with you to the post office. Make sure you're all right. Thanks, but there's no need. No, really. Come on. Well done, Max. Time to go off duty now. You know, the strangest things happen in the City of Friends. Why? What's up, Bobby? I've just been talking to the Mayor and it seems several people have come out of the Town Hall today and been hit on the head. Really? What by? No one knows. Something small and hard, it seems. I'll go and take a look around. But it's your time off. That's OK. There might be a connection with Kimmy. She's been hit by something today, too. Well, thanks, Max. Tell you what, take Timber with you. Timber! <laughs> Come on, Timber! No clues and no one here. <laughs> oh, I really need to solve this case, Timber. I'm sure that would persuade Bobby to put me up for the Best Police Trainee Award. Max to Bobby! Max to Bobby! Come in, Max. We've done a full search. Haven't found anything, though. OK, Max. See you back here. Out. <coughs> Timber? <coughs> I can't sleep. Let's go and have another look around the town hall. Still can't see anyone here. Let's hide for a bit and see what happens. Huh, this'll do. <laughs> oh, almost morning. Come on. Time to go home. G to Max. G to Max. Have you finished at the school yet? Max? Come in, Max. Oh, where can he be? Oh! Oh, no! <laughs> I've overslept, Timber. Oh, sorry I'm late, G. There you are. I've got a job for you. What about the school? Too late. You've missed it. Oh, I'm so silly. Oh, all right, where to? East Street again. Same as yesterday. On my way. See you. Hi, Kimmy. Has it happened again? Yes. Why me, I'm wondering. Did you see what hit you? No, it rolled away. I thought I saw something move up there. Nothing there now. No. No, I'd better get on with my deliveries. OK, take care and let me know if it happens again. Hey, Max, we missed you this morning. Has Bobby said anything about the Best Police Trainee Award yet? Not yet. And at the rate I'm going, I'm afraid he won't. What do you mean? Why not? I managed to oversleep this morning. Can you believe it? Me! That's why I wasn't here. 
But you're never late for anything. Well, I was today. If Bobby finds out, there's no way he'll put me up for the award. I know. We'll help you. We'll come to school early, and on the way, we'll call in to make sure you're awake. Thanks. That would really help. Hello there. Everything all right? Oh no, this is awful. Sorry I'm late, Bobby. Max, wait. What's up, G? Is he really late? <laughs> no, he's five minutes early. Oh, oh, thanks for trying to get me up. It's not your fault I didn't come out in time. I've let Bobby down, and I haven't solved the case. What case? Someone's dropping things on people's heads, but I can't find out who it is. Hi, Jim. Shh! It's a nutshell. Look, Kimmy, small and hard. These are what have been hitting you on the head. Nutshells? The squirrel drops them. Well, I never. Jumpy's the one who spotted it. Well done, you. What about at the town hall, Max? Could that be a squirrel too? If it is, I've been wasting my time looking around there at night. Because squirrels don't come out at night? Exactly. They sleep at night, which is what you should be doing, Max. No wonder you've been getting up late. Yes, I know. I've been trying too hard to please Bobby because of that award. <laughs> the mayor will be pleased it's only a squirrel. Well done, Max. You've done a great job. But I was late this morning. No, you weren't. You were five minutes early. Really? Now listen, I'm putting you up for a new award. It's for the best police trainee. And it doesn't matter if you don't win, OK? Why not? Because as far as I'm concerned, you're the best police trainee I could possibly have. Oh, thanks, Bobby. That's definitely what matters most to me. Mm -hmm.